computer. Welcome, everybody. I hope everybody's had a fantastic weekend and has gotten the week started off right on this Monday. Tonight, I wanted to thank you guys for joining me. We're going to be going over metabolic winter, metabolic winterizing, how to winterize your metabolism. Because if you're like me, you want abs for the summer. And we've been dieting, we've been in a deficit, and we've tried to maintain our physique throughout the summer months. Because when better is there a time to do it when you're out and about with your shirt off? So you can't diet year round. It's just you will set yourself up for failure. You'll end up metabolically adapting downwards, consuming such little calories, and your body's actually going to gain weight if you increase those calories too quickly. So what I wanted to be able to go over tonight is how do you winterize your metabolism? I've come up with three steps here that I think are going to help everybody out and allow people to understand what they should be doing going into these winter months. So this first step that I've come up with in this metabolic winterizing process is to make sure that we're going into a reverse diet. That's step number one, okay? So when we're coming out of the summer season, we have, like I said, been in a deficit. We've depleted our bodies. We've not, we need to re- feed our bodies. We need to figure out our new maintenance calories, wherever that is for us. And to do so, I use the Harris Benedict equation, getting my BMR and multiplying out from there by an activity factor of 1.1 to 1.9, depending on where you fall on that scale. 1.1 is tip. Honestly, if you're doing 1.1, you're just sitting in bed, you ain't doing shit. Uh, usually starts at 1.2. 1.9 is reserved for those people that have strenuous construction jobs that still work out during the day. And it's very rare that someone is up that high. But wherever you fall on that, that's going to get your maintenance calories for you. That's going to determine where you fall and where you should be eating to maintain the weight that you're at currently. Let's say you did have success this summer in losing some weight, shedding off some pounds, maintaining a lower body fat percentage. That's great. But where is your maintenance calories relative to where the equation puts you at? Because if you have a difference, if there is a gap where you're currently consuming and where you should be, then this is going to be to you. You should be reverse dieting at this point going into the winter months. And how do you do so? So to go about reverse dieting, the way I like to go about it is raising calories 10% at a time. Okay, so if you're at 1200 calories, being able to raise your calories anywhere from like 120 on up, I like to use even numbers, 150, 200 calories seems to be a good number to increase by. But we got to make sure that we're setting up our macros in the first place. Okay, so I went over this last week. I'm going to go over it briefly because this was most of my training last week. So if you need any of the videos, if you need any of the trainings or topics from last week. It was the four-step macro plan. And that's exactly what you'll, you'll, you will use here in this instance by first, find out your calories, where your maintenance is, figuring out where your protein is at from there, going into fat, and then setting your carbs based on the, how many calories, and what your caloric need is left. So I've set up and I have video trainings from last week that go over the four-step macro prescription. If you need, like I said, any, if you need to, that link, let me know and I can get that to you. Um, just comment below or reach out to me in the messages and I'd be happy to send that to you. So that is the first step though, is going into a reverse diet from wherever you're at. Like I said, typically I find a lot of people have been in a deficit or they have been just trying to diet down throughout the summer. So the first thing I like to see people do when they're winterizing their metabolism is going into a reverse diet. Now, while we're reversing, obviously our goal is not going to be to lean out. We're probably going to gain a little bit of weight. This, if we're, if done correctly, we're going to have minimal fat gain, but it is always inevitable, especially after an extreme deficit, that you're probably going to gain a little bit of fat along with the muscle benefits of increasing your calories as well. So I like to change up our focus. This is step number two, change up the focus of what our direction is when it comes to training. This is a great time as we enter into the winter months going into the next 
season to start your mobility or skill training. So a lot of the training I see people do during the summer months is revolving around bodybuilding style and more aesthetics and trying to hit hypertrophy ranges. But again, if we switch up our stimulus, we're going to have a better result, a more or a greater, sti a different stimulus is going to be sent to the system. And that's going to elicit a greater result and a greater signal that we're trying to send. So I like to go into this kind of training for mobility and skill training uh, after the summer months as well, because it allows me time to recover, to really rehab my back, to get everything fixed up that I've been putting off uh, over the year because I deal with a lot of tight hip issues and I will compensate from time to time. And it's just a constant grind in the gym with my programming right now. So I actually am taking my own advice coming up soon to transition into more of a mobility performance-based style of training so that you know, you can get rid of your back issues. You're able to establish better habits around your fitness and nutrition during this time as well. And just making sure that you're doing the things that are going to rehab your metabolism, rehab your body, and put you in a position that you're going to be able to jump into your next deficit, your next cut come the springtime or before summer and make that cut more efficacious. There's a whole system that I go about with my clients and starting with the homeostasis halo is my system. Homeostasis to begin building muscle and anabolic acquisition. This mobility and skill training would kind of fall during that time because I set people up so that we're able to lean out faster after that. And this is exactly what I am preparing people to do. Step number three that I have put together and what I think would be the next step of going in for your winterizing your metabolism is to focus on your recovery, to focus on your habits. Uh, this is this is where the lifestyle talk is going to come into play, where this is going to be a time to assess if you're satisfied with where you're at currently. If we have to take a step back and maybe we have to focus on your longevity. Maybe we're dealing with some health issues, gut issues. Maybe we're dealing with some, again, mobility issues and we got to address performance. Or maybe this is a time where we're just trying to set good, healthy recovery habits and starting a new routine with like yoga, or maybe we're going into med starting a meditation routine, or maybe we even join Pilates or bar. I know Brad, you've been to uh, Pilates, I believe. So it's not always for girls, um, but uh, yeah, this is a great time to work in some recovery and some good habits and some good lifestyle changes because we're not so gung-ho into our deficit. We're not so taxed with trying to be tracking our macros and trying to maintain this deficit, but we're trying to set ourselves up for success come the springtime, like I said. So during this time, you can sleep, fixing your sleep health and sleep routine is huge during the winter months because, oh, got someone in the chat, because when it comes to the summer, it, if you're like me, your schedule's a little out of whack, you're traveling at, at weekends or parties, weekends are with friends. And yeah, you just, you're having a little bit of fun during the summer. But when kids go back to school, when people start to settle down in the routines, as we start to go back to work here, I know some of you are going back to work here soon. So it's a good time to really work on establishing a good routine with your sleep, making sure that you have a bedtime, making sure that you have a wake up time and sticking to that. Because studies have shown that it's not only amount the, about the amount, the quantity of sleep that you get, but the quality and to increase the quality of sleep, the body runs well on routine and it runs well on a clock. So to increase the quality of your sleep, yes, having more sleep is always beneficial, but following a schedule to where you're falling asleep at the same time and waking up at the same time has been shown to be more beneficial than just trying to get an extra hour here and there. So just try to set a routine and stick to it. I have seen recently that, oh man, don't blank on me now. It was just a sleep study that I came across 
And it was a pretty cool one about, oh, yes, sleep. They say, and I don't have any of my sources to verify this, but they do say that for every hour before midnight, it is like getting two hours of sleep in comparison to getting every hour after midnight. So your main recovery processes and the recovery that occurs at night really happens up front. And the more that you push off that bedtime from 9.30 to 10.30 to 11.30 and get in bed past midnight, you're losing out on a lot of that restful sleep. And so you, again, going back to routine, you just really want to make sure that you're setting your routine so that you are able to balance everything out. Um, this is also a good time for recovering habits or going in. Let's mute you. For going into recovery and habits, uh, fix your hormone health. This is something I'm learning more and more about. This is something I'm diving deeper into. I'm looking to get my hormone specialist certification here soon. I'm reading through the textbook now. And yeah, it's, it's a lot. But at the same time, this is a great time. And I'm learning more and more how people's hormones can be dysregulated and how if you are just not, if you're deficient in certain micronutrients, you're going to be deficient in the way that you're able to produce and um, provide or have hormones within your body. If you're too low on cortisol or not cortisol, cholesterol, you're not going to be able to form the mother of all hormones, pregnenolone, which ought or which ultimately does not allow you to make any of the steroid hormones, testosterone, estrogen, proestrogen, and that can have effects down the line. And something that I learned recently, and a little fun fact for you guys, is that cholesterol, that we actually, GMO products can disrupt the absorption of cholesterol within our bodies. And the cholesterol, if we're not absorbing correctly, even though we're intaking it, if we're not able to absorb it properly and get it internal to the cells because cholesterol goes to the mitochondria within the cell. And if it's not able to break through the cell barrier, then we are still limited in our uptake, which then can limit our ability to produce steroid hormones and everything else. So I hope to be able to do a training in the future, all over hormones and all over what you guys can do to help increase testosterone or balance out estrogen and proestrogen. So something to look forward to. The more I learn, the more you guys are going to learn with me. So just a little tidbit of information I came across earlier today. Now, just to recap quickly, this is going to be just a quick 15, 20 minute training, but just to recap first, we're going to go in for metabolic winterizing reverse diet. That's step number one. We got to reverse diet. We got to figure out where our maintenance calories are. We're going to come and set our protein, our fat and our carbs accordingly. And we're going to make sure that we're setting our metabolism up for success and getting it into place to where we're able to actually enter into a deficit come the springtime or early summer. After that, you guys are going to want to go into step number two, focusing on skill training, focusing on building muscle, building strength. Maybe this is a time to increase your squat, your deadlift, Increase your mobility within your hips, back mobility, shoulder mobility, rehabbing any injuries, uh, whatever you need to do. This is a great time to do so because we're not necessarily chasing aesthetics. When it comes to tailoring the body and shaping and sculpting, I am a good proponent or I will push more bodybuilding aesthetic style workouts to do so. And, but that's not all the time. Like I said, you got to change up your programming. And if you've been lifting in that bodybuilding building esque style for some time now, six plus months, the best thing that you can do is switch up your programming, your routine to follow something that you haven't been necessarily doing myself. I am going to be going into a performance based program where I'm going to be focusing more on my squat, more on my ability to move weight and not so much my aesthetics, which I have focused intently on for the past over 12 months. So this is going to be a good break for me. And I hope to show you guys exactly what it, what switching up a routine can do to elicit change and shape the body differently. Third and final step that I have people go through for winterizing their metabolism is to 
establish good recovery, good habits during this time, and things and establish good hormone health, really getting themselves into place, having the time set aside since we aren't so gung ho about the deficit, but setting the time aside to now focus on things that go beyond just the nutrition and the weightlifting, but the things that are going to long-term benefit you, the things that are going to make sure that you sustain your results and are able to optimize that you have meditation, that you have a good, just that I like to push people in this period too. As a coach, as a nutrition coach, and as a health coach, as a health coach, that's where I want to go. So as a nutrition coach, yes, I coach you in nutrition. As a fitness coach, yes, I'm going to help you with your squat. But I'm a health coach. I want to help you with your overall health. I want to make sure that your relationships are good. I want to make sure that you're happy within your job. I want to make sure that you are set up for being able to relieve stress. And that is something that I'm very passionate about. And this is one of those times that I love having these conversations with clients. And one of these times that we can take aside and set aside the time to really focus on some of the lifestyle optimization, uh, tidbits and information and tricks and habits that I've picked up over the years to implement, because these then are the long-term things that will lead to greater success. So that's what I like to take the winter months to focus on that because like I said, we got the time. Now I did say tonight, it looks like we only have a couple people in here, Brad and Matt. And I said, I was going to give away some free coaching tonight, but considering that I only have Matt, Rachel and Brad in here, I don't think it is going to warrant it, warrant giving away some free coaching within our little chat right here but everybody that is watching this post or yeah watching this and watching the replay i'm going to leave this open for 24 hours i would like you to comment below just say me and i'm going to pick someone random as long as i have five people that have commented within that video or within the next 24 hours. What I'm going to be giving away is I want to give $2,500 away in value because I think being able to walk someone through this entire process over the next six months is going to be highly helpful. Uh, if you guys know anybody that would like to participate or maybe have the chance to win this, let me know. But I am going to be giving away $2,500 of coaching one-on-one, -on -one, six months with myself taking you through your nutrition, taking you through your fitness protocol, making sure that we set you up for success, making sure we implement the steps that I went over tonight and allowing you to go into the summer better than you ever have. We're going to make 2022 the best year yet for you. And one lucky person is going to win that giveaway if I get five people to comment in the video. So I do need that because I can't just be giving it away to the same people that show up. I appreciate you guys for coming, but uh, yeah, I got to have a little bit of uh pool to pick from. Anyways, I will be having some more information coming this week as well for more trainings and a little special surprise that I hope to announce this Wednesday and something coming up at the end of the month. So something for you guys to look forward to. I'm going to be putting together a PDF with the points that I made up tonight and I will be getting that out tomorrow. So if you would like that PDF as well to be able to review, then let me know. And I will also have this recording on YouTube for future viewing. And if you found it helpful, please let me know. And please send this and tag one friend. That would really help me out as I would like to grow these trainings. I'm going to start to move people from Facebook. I purposefully did not live stream this tonight to Facebook as I am going to start to train you guys to show up on Zoom because I wanna build a library for my clients. I wanna build a library for the people that are in my group to where they have some resource to go to, uh, an entire YouTube page, maybe a Google Drive of just trainings and things and a library for them to pull from. And not everybody's gonna have access to that, so that's why I'm gonna start moving away from Facebook, putting the trainings on YouTube and allowing more of that to build more of a library. So I'm going to end recording now. I'm going to get done. I'm going to wrap up here. I'll put this up on YouTube and make sure everybody has the link for later. I appreciate you guys so much. If you guys have any questions over what I went over tonight, or if you have anything that I can help you with, 
or do for you. If you just want to say hi, if you just want to come into the group and, oh, and participate, I do have the weekly challenge going on in my group started today. 10,000 steps. All you have to do is show me a picture of 10,000 steps on your Fitbit, on Apple Watch, on your Apple Health, whatever you track on, post it to the group, and I will be raffling off on Saturday a Starbucks gift card for whoever wins the raffle. Yeah, I'm just going to do it like I did the challenge. So um, if you are a part of the challenge, every day you complete the challenge and post, you will get one raffle ticket. You can get up to five. And on Saturday, I'll announce the winner and they'll get a cup of joe from me. So a little accountability from you guys, for you guys, and a little bit of fun to entice you and motivate you. So thank you guys. Love you all. Have a wonderful night. Got to run. Just wanted to listen to Yep. Have a wonderful night, guys. I appreciate it so much and take care.